Welcome back. New York City Mayor Eric Adams meeting with business leaders to discuss public safety and workers' commute on the subway. He's recently encouraged New Yorkers and CEOs like J.P. Morgan's Jamie Dimon to ride the train, even as subway attacks continue to spike. Just yesterday, a man was stabbed in the chest while riding the subway in Brooklyn. Meanwhile, this disturbing video shared last week on social media shows a man attacking a commuter, pulling a woman's hair. Listen to her cry for help. Watch. Oh, my God. How disturbing. Joining us right now is the Guardian Angels founder and CEO, radio talk show host, Curtis Sliwa. Curtis, thanks very much for joining us. Your reaction? Well, uh, there's a uh, blanket, a uh, malaise of, uh, let's face it, cowardice that is spreading throughout our country. We saw it outside of that schoolhouse in Texas. We saw it on that subway train. Here are guys who probably just came out of the gym, right? You know, spent an hour working out, testosterone crashing through their cranium. You have a maniac there who's threatening a woman, grabbing her by the hair. She's begging, please, please help me, help me. And all of them just basically shrunk away. Oh, they want to film it. Uh, and then they go home and they have a vicarious thrill living through Bronson and Death Wish saying, I should have, I should have. We have to take the streets and the subways back because this mayor, the swagger man, Eric Adams, has no plan and there are no cops. So you're going to see people having to take the law into their own hands, as was very common back in the 80s. How do, how do we do it? We all, we all have questions for yeah. you, but, but how do you think that can be accomplished to, to cut this crime down? Well, look, look what I did. 1979, overwhelming crime. There were no police because there were fiscal cutbacks. The city was on the brink of fiscally dissolving. There was a financial control board. Ed Koch, the brand new mayor, had to lay off thousands of cops. And then I came forward with citizens from the inner city. We began to patrol the trains. More of this is going to have to take place because all we're getting from Eric Adams is he goes out at night. He's at Club Zero Bond raising the roof, trying to keep up with the the Kardashians and hanging out with the TikTok girls. Okay, but be beyond his social life, the mayor would say that uh, while, I think he would say that while subway crime is up, some other categories, uh, they seem to be making progress. Do you see any change? Do you see any positive? You talk about how there were no cops in the 70s when you started taking the streets back. How is the police presence now? Is it improving? We thought that under Bill de Blasio, things couldn't get any worse, right? There is more crime now than at any time of Bill de Blasio, and this is wow. the so-called law and That's order. That's a big man. statement. Now, just think, Jamie Dimon, he tells Jamie Dimon, hey, Jamie, you should ride the trains. I immediately texted Jamie. I don't know him. I said, make sure your life insurance premiums are paid up and wear oh a Kevlar gosh. vest. How ridiculous. Wow. This is your plan to get CEOs to ride the subway. That's not going to happen. Let's get real. Hire more cops, get them into the streets. Remember, we defunded a billion dollars out of the budget um, for police. We never put it back. So that's why you have so few police. Well, but Curtis, riding the train it doesn't do anything to increase the safety when you ride the train. Just have more people down there doesn't mean it's going to be safer. But here's my concern. You can put all the cops you want on the beat, but if you don't have prosecutors, who will prosecute them? Put them behind bars to make sure there's a penalty for the crimes they commit. If you're a cop, you're like, I can arrest these people, but nothing's going to happen. It's a waste of my time. Time. So it's really not cops. It's more prosecutors, isn't it? It's a combination of everybody. Look, the cops are being very reactive because they're not they're not being supported by the elected right. officials. But you're right. When you have a DA, like we've talked about in Manhattan, the strongest district attorney's office in the country, a guy named Alvin Bragg. When I go into my local Dwayne Reed or CVS or Walgreen, I can ask the cashier, could I have my Alvin Bragg swag bag because wow. I'd like to loot. I won't shoot, but I'd like to loot out the place. And that's what's happening all over for this city and nothing's being done at the highest level nothing well and uh, obviously Eric Adams is the mayor now I know you ran against him obviously in the mayoral election there are reports now that he may be eyeing a run at the White House um, I want to get your reaction to that was New York just a stepping stone for him if that turns out to be true um, what are your thoughts on that Tell me any politician who gets elected to one position who isn't all of a sudden <laughs> thinking of another position. Donald Trump. 
<laughs> all of them, right? <laughs> all of them. So I just say, do your job. Yeah, and in this right. case, Eric Adams and his cronies better watch out. He has his master plan to get to the White House. At the rate he's going, he might end up going to the big house in chains and shackles because a lot of them have their beaks in the trough. They're talking about putting metal detectors in the subways. They can't even get the cameras to work They're in the subways. They're jumping over the turnstiles already. They're going to go through a metal detector. Right, right, but look, right. follow the money. Who owns the stocks in the company that he is suggesting? But his chief of staff, oh Frank Corona, who I grew up with in Brooklyn at Canarsie, beware. But Curtis, I know where all the bones are buried and who buried Curtis, them. Curtis, so what you're saying is this massive spike that we're seeing in crime and in attacks, in, in gun violence, is a direct result of bad policy. The bail reform law puts criminals back on the street. Uh, this, th this pushback on police, uh, defunding the police, all policy decisions. Yeah, and notice what's happening. The great exodus continues, right? More people were leaving to Florida than ever before. Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Texas, Tennessee. And the other day, if you notice, the Catskills, which had been depleted, you could have rolled a sagebrush through Sullivan County, where all the old Borscht Belt hotels were. It's had a revival of population. Where are they coming from? The five boroughs of New York City because of all the crime. Can, can I ask one question? Because I think as a Wisconsin guy, most people look at this and say, you know what? You could have chosen Curtis, who would have taken crime and destroyed it, right? But they chose someone else. So you, the rest of the country looks at New York and says, yeah, it's bad, but you guys asked for it. You guys voted for it. Why in the hell do I care? Well, you want well, this. Well, uh, very, very simply, you had the number one crime fighter of all time who endorsed me, Rudy. Giuliani. That's right. He has the template. It would behoove Eric Adams, even though it's a Democratic machine that just keeps uh, re-electing itself, to sit down with Rudy 45 minutes to an hour. He'll lay out the master plan. Notice, who has he met with already? Chris Christie, Andrew Cuomo. What are they going to tell him about fighting crime? You have the number one crime fighter of all time who took the murder capital of America and the violent crime capital of America in eight years to the safest big city of America, and he lives right here. You could have a cup of coffee with Rudy and learn a lot. I talk to him every week. So, the guy has a master plan. It needs to be incorporated. What's your plan? What do you think are the important steps to be taken now to get us out of this? We have to hire cops. We only had 34,000 cops. Remember, we took a billion dollars out of their budget that was never put back. We need 40,000 cops. And you know how you do that? You say to, oh, Jimmy Dolan, you think you're going to have a Stanley Cup champion, the Rangers, right, at Madison Square Garden? He pays no property taxes. Columbia University, $10 billion endowment. They pay no property taxes. NYU, $4 billion uh, endowment. They pay no property taxes, yet they keep buying up property and taking it off the tax shows. If I had been the mayor, I would have said, hey, you're all paying your fair share, special tax. We hire cops. We'd have 40,000 cops, and we could take this city back and have a police officer on every moving subway train. You never see him on the trains. That's where they if, need to be. In the meantime, are you recruiting more angels? Oh, yeah. Now, this is just like in business, supply and demand. When the demand goes up because there's crime everywhere in neighborhoods that we never were asked to patrol before. What a shame. Mm -hmm. Then, obviously, the supply of guardian angels grows here and throughout America. Remember, there's a crime crisis in America. So for our chapters in Baltimore, Washington, Chicago, Los Angeles, wherever these uh, violent crime uh, rates are skyrocketing because of the gangbangers, yes, the guardian angel well, ranks grow. By 23 people shot over the Memorial Day weekend. Hey, uh, they were probably mostly right. Chicago. Philadelphia, 13 dead in Philadelphia, 11 dead in Chicago, two dead here. It's like this old rap song, Onyx Saints. With your guns in the air, it's all about crime, crime, crime. And we are not responding. We are letting these young thugs take over our cities. Oh, what a shame. And this is gonna shame. this is gonna have a big detriment for business and the mass exodus of people south of the Mason Dixon line.
to, it's not COVID. People are not coming back to the city yeah, because of that. crime. We moved to that, Florida exact for the, one of the reasons being that this does not feel like a safe place to raise a family anymore. We are one of the many people you talk about. What a it, shame. it happened to us, so many others. Imagine only eight percent of these massive office buildings each day are occupied. Yeah. Who's going to pay the property taxes? Who's going to subsidize this social service right. system? Yeah. And if crime depletes it, shame on us because Eric Adams said he had a master plan. <laughs> this swagger man has no plan. Well, Ben. Carson wanted to use some of those commercial buildings for the homeless. I, I went to the store the other day in New York City. Every corner there was a homeless person. It was really, it was really sad. Curtis, thank you, and thanks oh. for your efforts. Good